Okay, so tell me again, there, when was that uh, east part of the house at, at Ralph's there at home? When was that built? 1937. Okay, and how much and did it cost? Hey. How much did it cost? $1,100. Okay, okay. And then the uh, the barn, when was the barn built? In 1942 and cost $4,000. 4000 so that would kind of be in wartime. Hey. That would kind of be in wartime then. Yep, and when the war was on. So that barn at James's, that barn of uh, that big red barn at James's, when it was, was it was? It was in 1925. Okay. And there, there was a sign up on the peak, with on the south end there, right up near the peak, 1925 on it. Okay. Have you any idea what it cost then? No. No way. Eh? And no, I w wouldn't have any idea. Okay. Well, like that was just the year I was born, eh? Yeah. And then, so Tom and Nora, the place that Tom and Nora were on. The the Merkley place, yeah. Yeah. So Grandpa Fawcett had bought it. He bought that in... Uh, 1944. 44, okay. And uh, in the spring of the year, and paid $4,000 for it. And there was 75 acres. And he k took the crop off it. And uh, took the crop off it and uh, sold it to Nora and Tom for in the fall of the year for 5,000. Okay, okay. And then that was in 44. And then in January 45, he went and bought the mail and shaver farm where Keith was and paid $6,000 for it. So it would have already had that new barn on it. It, it had just, the barn was just a year old or less, uh, I I would say even less than a, a year old. Okay. Uh, and uh, he bought it for six thousand dollars. And what about the farm that Gord was on? Oh, he bought it after. Uh, bought it. I would say. In 1951, okay. and he paid $6,000 for it, but, oh shit, it was, there was a lot of fixing and, and the well was no good whatsoever on it. And it cost a pile of money. He had grants from Ottawa coming, I don't know what they done, but they and got some water but then the, after they had to drill another well and it went down like 400 feet or something okay over near the house and and the other thing i was wondering do you remember in your time when that cheese factory was was just east of of there east of that farm at at home at ralph's where you went back to huts yeah yeah i remember okay uh I remember, but it it had to go in the early 30s. Oh, I see. Okay. And it was run by Bishop Coons. Oh, was it? Uh, there was Art Coons that lived down west of where Fred Holmes is. Yeah. Uh, on a 50-acre farm art and was a bachelor. And the other one lived at Winchester Station uh, that, uh, that run that factory. And Mrs. Fern Workman of the press was his daughter. Oh, okay. So how, like Elwood and Doug Coons now, how do they fit? They fit somewhere in that family, eh? I, Elwood and Doug Coons, do they fit in that family somewhere? 
I guess so, but I just don't. Their, do you know what their father's name was? No. No, I. No, I don't know. And that factory was just there. I'll bet you, and I would think it by 1930 or 31, the factory was gone. Okay. In fact, the factory burned and there's a well right there yet where that factory was. Yeah, I know, I know there is. And the other thing, do you remember when Alts had the factory at Cass Bridge? Do yep. you remember that? Yeah, okay. he had one. He had uh, Jack Alt owned factory in Winchester and one at Cloverdale and one at Cass Bridge. Okay. And the other thing I was wondering one day, do you remember where you went back into that new rink in, in Winchester? Do I what? Remember where you went into that new rink, like that ice rink? It was uh, back. The old one? Yeah. Yeah. Just like right in between, uh, well, where you, uh, uh, well, between Flores and and uh, Joe Steele's. Yeah, that guy. You went in there and uh, just turned left and. Uh, That's where you went back into that rink was right there. Yeah. Okay. And his house was uh, down a on the street there where Hitchman, Bob Hitchman or Sandy lived. Okay, whose house was that? I don't know whose it was, it was, it was Jack Alt's. I, oh, that's where Jack Alt lived? Yeah, him and her. Okay. But Mrs. Jack Alt, she was a sister to Graham Ellison and Mrs. Hugh Ellison and, and Mrs. Haggerty from out of Toys Hill. And there was another lady, B, that was never married. And T.O. T.O. He used to run the store. Yeah. Uh, but Mrs. Jack Old was a big, rugged, coarse woman. And so was Mrs. Haggerty. But Graham Elson was a very fine bone lady, and so was her sister Ella. Okay. And T.O. was just a little short fellow. And who, Ella, who did, who was she then? Hey. Who was Ella? Well, Mrs. Hugh Ellison. Okay. Grandpa Ellison and my grandmother were married, but uh, Anson's brother, Hugh, married Ella, Allison, I. Okay. So the two brothers married two sisters. Okay. Well, that's good for now. <laughs>